So there's quite a few equilibrium constants, but don't worry, they're all really easy to remember and straightforward. So we have Kc for concentration, Kp for pressure, Ka for acid, Kb for base, and Ksp for solubility product. Not bad. So let's start with Kc. And we're given this uh, example reaction, and what we need to remember is that the equilibrium expression is written in terms of products over reactants. So we're going to have these products over these reactants. Now I see for the products we have CO2 and H2O. So since we're doing it for Kc, which is concentration, we're going to write out the concentrations of the products like so. So we have CO2 and concentration of H2O. Now what we need to do is also remember that the coefficients are what we're going to raise the concentration to the power of. So we have uh, 3 moles of CO2, which we're going to turn into concentration of CO2 cubed. Same thing for here, we're going to raise it for the fourth to the fourth power. Now that we have our products, we can move on to the reactants. So we have C3H8, and we're going to write out the concentration sign for it, and it has no coefficient, so we're just going to leave it as it is. The next thing we have is O2, and we're going to raise it to the fifth power. Now notice that I included all of these into the equilibrium expression. That's not going to happen all the time. So because these are all gases, you can find the concentration of a gas, so it makes sense to write them in the Kc equilibrium expression. But if you have solids or pure liquids, you can't really find the concentration of those. So you would just leave them out of the equilibrium expression. Now for Kp, we have all gases, so it makes sense to find the pressure for them. So it's going to, to be basically the same thing as this, except we're going to write out the partial pressure of the products over the partial pressure of the reactants. So we have partial pressure of CO2 and partial pressure of H2O. Now we need to raise them to these powers, 3 and 4, so we're going to have partial pressure of CO2 cubed and partial pressure of H2O to the fourth power. Then, or I'm sort of running out of room here, so let's just write it out like this. Okay, so now we have reactants on the bottom. So we're going to have pressure of C3H8 times pressure of 5, oops, pressure of O2, I mean. And we're going to raise it to the fifth power because that's the coefficient. So that's going to be your equilibrium expression for Kp. Now moving on to Ka, we have um, a liquid here. So remember, you can't really find the concentration of a pure liquid such as H2O. So we're going to leave that out of the expression. So it's just going to be these two over this. So for Ka, Kb, and Ksp, we're just going to write it out as concentrations. These are basically just really specific ways of denoting the concentration equilibrium expression. So we have C3, CH3, COO minus, and H3O plus. There are no coefficients, so we're just going to leave it that way over uh, acetic acid. So CH3, COO. H. And that's really all. So remember Ka is when you have an acid and Kb is when you have a basic equation. So let's move on. We're not going to leave, I mean we're not going to put the H2O in the expression so we're just going to leave it there. So we have NH4 plus times concentration of OH minus over concentration of NH3. Pretty easy. Now the last one, solubility product. That's when you have a solid and some of it is basically dissolving in a solution. So 
FeOH3 solid is going to dissolve into Fe3 plus ions and OH minus ions. So we're not going to have the solid in the expression. So we're just going to set Ksp equal to Fe3 plus and OH minus. And the OH minus is going to be to the third power.